The Master's Mysteries Tales of Magical Mastery Episode 102 In the previous episode, we were talking about how Leo Fengi grasped Xiaodi's wrist to wipe the wound for her. There's something I've been holding in my heart for a long time, and I want to tell you, having come a long way, there has long been a hidden affection between these two people. It's just that the thin layer of paper has not been pierced. Could it be that, with a major battle imminent, Liao Fengi is finally going to confess? Young hero, go for it. Hey, this foolish lad has finally awakened. Not only us, but also several people not far away can't wait. They're all holding their breath, waiting for Liao Fengi to say those words. Xiaodi, I want to tell you, and Xiaodi's face turned even redder, her heart pounding like a small deer. How long has it been since you washed your handkerchief? But unexpectedly, in this wonderful atmosphere, Liao Fengi uttered a mood-killing remark. Not only Xiaodi, but everyone was stunned by his anticlimactic words. Cleaning a wound like this can easily lead to infection, Although knowing that this is not what Liao Fengi truly wants to say, there is still some disappointment in the heart. If we don't die tonight, just as Xiaodi turned to leave, Liao Fengi's voice rang out again. Marry me, okay. The sudden confession made Xiaodi immediately stop in her tracks. Though I may be clumsy, but I'll treat you well. This is the first time he has feelings for a girl, and Liao Fengi is so nervous that he doesn't know what to say. Say yes, say yes. Before Xiaodi could answer, there was an excited cheer from nearby. Those onlookers cheered first. I don't know about them. Unexpectedly, there were others around. This time, Liao Fengi and Xiaodi's faces turned even redder. Leaving aside the lively scene here, let's talk about Ahuo, who is guarding on the side. Just as he was happy for Liao Fengi, he suddenly felt a dangerous aura approaching. It's you, old man, acting on instinct. He dodged to the side, and a bright red whip brushed against Ahu's chest and flew past. What a sharp youngster. Consider yourself lucky. It turns out that the newcomer is the old cunning demon from the Shenlong shamanism, Grey Demon, who had repeatedly ambushed everyone many times ambush and then want to run this old guy is really hateful his sneak attack failed so he turns around and runs infuriating ahu if you're so capable don't run ahu yelled and chased after him but little did he know that he had fallen into the old guy's trap so many people and you want me shiodi what are you thinking as for the people in the woods faced with leo fengi's confession Chiaudi is at a loss. Truly envy-inducing. Just then, a strange voice suddenly sounded behind them, followed by two dangerous auras. As a couple, we are happy for you. Ah, memories. We were like that too back in the day. The two turned around to see two people slowly emerging from the woods. The man and woman were dressed elegantly, unmistakably a couple. But it's a pity you are enemies of our Shenlong shamanism. From the aura emanating from them, it's clear these two are no ordinary individuals. Hey, finally here. Let me handle this. Seeing the couple, Black Fox on the side raised a corner of his mouth and immediately jumped down from the rock. They are the leaders of the Fox Immortal Hall. Lord Q Fox Immortal Couple, it turns out that the Fox Immortal Hall on the left peak of the Three Extremes Ridge worships two Fox Immortals, and they are also envoys of the Shenlong Shamanism. They are handed over to me, while chatting Black Fox separated the two and took the first mission himself. I heard there's a six-tailed Black Fox, it must be you, right, quite handsome. This fox couple seemed to have heard about Black Fox. Their gazes focused sharply on him. Five hundred years ago, a white fox demon went astray from the Nine Immortals Ridge. After arriving in the north, it cultivated by devouring infants. At this revelation by Black Fox, everyone was shocked. 
It turns out that this fox couple is a demonic entity that specializes in eating children for cultivation, and it seems Black Fox is well aware of their malevolence. Committing heinous deeds and tarnishing the reputation of my Nine Immortals Ridge. Initially, everyone thought that Black Fox came to the Shenlong shamanism for treasure, but it turns out he also has the intention to eliminate the Black Sheep in his own clan. Nine Immortals Ridge a bunch of stubborn old fools. Little handsome guy. You have quite a background. Having his identity exposed by Black Fox, the Fox couple no longer pretends, revealing sinister expressions. Unable to hold back any longer, Black Fox immediately released his six-tailed Black Fox immortal form and infused his spirit Fox sword with spirit, preparing for battle. Humph, just a six-tailed miscellaneous furball husband, showed no mercy, because Black is absolutely atypical among fox demons. They don't even compare to the esteemed white fox. This fox couple doesn't regard Black Fox highly at all. Then let you see, Grandpa's prowess. Black Fox doesn't bother with their nonsense. He's long been fed up with these disgusting white fox demons. Swiftly advancing, he swings his sword into the air. This sword is truly fierce, although the white fox demon evades backward and avoids being directly struck by the spirit fox sword. The powerful sword energy still sends it flying four or five meters away. Just these moves, black fox doesn't give him a chance to catch his breath. Sword in hand, he charges forward. But in his mind, he keeps muttering about how useless the white fox is. I can't, now the white fox demon is so scared that he can't even speak clearly. Black fox is even more furious, thinking how this guy was quite good at pretending just a moment ago. Then black fox ruthlessly stomps on that guy's face. Black fox, well done, Liao Fengi and Chiodi, who were watching on the side, are excited. It seems the first battle is already won. Is this what you get from eating so many children? Someone cheers from the sidelines, further motivating Black Fox. Thinking about that guy who ate so many children, he can't stop himself from stomping harder. Enjoying it, but at this moment, a sudden white flash passes through the corner of Black Fox's eye, and a dangerous aura approaches. You're thinking too simply, kid, before Black Fox can turn around, the fist of the white figure has already smashed into Black Fox's chin. This punch is ruthless. It immediately sends Black Fox flying, blood oozing from the corner of his mouth. Black Fox now realizes that this guy is indeed not easy to deal with. However, just as Black Fox lands and looks back to the spot where the white fox was, he finds that the person has disappeared. A bad premonition rises in his heart. Sure enough, that familiar sense of danger suddenly emerges from behind. Without giving Black Fox a chance to react, a powerful force slams into his back and Black Fox immediately spews out a mouthful of blood. Then his body weakly flies forward. As Black Fox fell heavily to the ground, he completely understood in his heart that the gap between himself and this white fox demon was not just a small one. What happened just now? Unable to comprehend, Black Fox got up once again, and as he looked around, everything became clear. Immortal teacher, I know, I was wrong. Please forgive me. It turns out that the white fox demon that appeared just now was just a decoy. This white fox demon has established an immortal hall in the Three Extremes Ridge and has taken many wild immortals as disciples. Truly useless, this little fox demon must have made some mistake, sent to disguise himself as the frontliner. If the true leader hadn't appeared so quickly, this guy might have already been killed by Black Fox. Immortal teacher, have mercy, useless things only bring shame to me. But just because this guy didn't die under Black Fox's foot doesn't mean there will be a good outcome. The kick from the white fox demon is even more ruthless than Black Fox. Keeping you is of no use, right? 
he forcefully stomped on the wild fox demon and crushed it. Seeing how ruthless the white fox demon is even to its own kind, Liao Fenghi and Xiaodi couldn't help but feel a chill. The black sheep among foxes, not worthy of being a fox, however, this only strengthened black fox's determination to eliminate him. But before black fox could charge towards the white fox demon with his sword, suddenly a powerful force struck his back again. This time, it was even more ruthless, sending black fox flying over 10 meters. However, the white fox demon remained standing without moving. Did you forget about your sister? Just when black fox was puzzled, a sweet voice came from behind. And it seems like you don't even care about your sister. It's really heartbreaking. This woman, who has been inconspicuously standing on the side since the beginning, took action when everyone's attention was drawn to the battle between Black Fox and the White Fox Demon. Now Black Fox found himself in a situation of being attacked from both sides, and both sides are cunning and fierce characters. Does he still have a chance of winning?